This is the final video on fuzzy logic and in this video we will discuss about another fuzzy inferencing technique. In addition to um, the previous infer fuzzy inferencing technique, uh, Mamdani, which we have discussed in the previous video, another fuzzy inferencing technique is called Sugeno fuzzy inference. So the inventor of the technique, Michio Sugeno, suggested to use a single spike a single term as the membership function of the rule when sequence. Uh, this fuzzy single term is a fuzzy set with a membership function that is unity at a single particular point on the universe of discourse and zero everywhere else. Um, so again, style fuzzy inference is very similar to the Mandarin method, but it is changed only a rule consequence instead of a fuzzy set. Uh, the mathematical function of the input variable is used instead. So the result of the inferencing, instead of having a fuzzy set like this, um, we are using mathematical function with a single output. So the format of the Sugeno style fuzzy rule is like this. If x is A and Y is B, then Z is a function with X and Y. So X, Y, and Z, they are all linguistic variables. A and B, they are fuzzy set. On the universes of discourse of X and Y respectively, while well, this is a mathematical function. So the most commonly used zero order Sugeno fuzzy model applies fuzzy rules in this form. If x is a and y is b, then z is k. So this is the result of the function in the previous slide. So this k is a single value. It is a constant. So this is the singleton. And the singleton spikes are determined by experts. We are still discussing the same example as the one we use in Mam Dini Fuzzy Inference and this is on uh, risk of a project given values of funding and staffing. Uh, if you look at rule one, this is also the same rule but the difference is the result would be a constant. So in rule one, if x is a3 or y is b1, and because this is an or operation, we are taking the value of the, the max value in here is 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 will be mapped to k1. Then rule two, because this is an n operation, we're evaluating the minimum value, and the minimum value is 0 0.2 mapped here. And as for rule three, um, it can be mapped directly to k3 with a value of 0 0.5. So in order for us to aggregate the values Sugeno style, what we do is uh, we will sum the values of 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 and 0 0.5 by uh, uh, multiplying it with the values of singleton. So the singleton value of k1 is 20. This is 20. The singleton value of k2 is uh, 50. And the singleton value of k3 is 80. So um, what we do is 0 0.1 times 20, 0 0.2 times 50, and um, 0 0.5 times 80 and we sum up all these three values and divide it by the membership degrees of all three results 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5 and we get the value of 65 and if you still remember the result of mum Dani previously was 64.7 if I'm not mistaken and the values do not differ much
So, how do we choose between Mamdani and Sugeno? So, Mamdani method is widely accepted because it can capture expert knowledge better. So, it allows us to describe the expertise in a more intuitive and more human-like manner. However, like we have established previously, it entails a substantial computational burden. On the other hand, Sugeno method is computationally effective and it works well with problems involving optimization, technique involving adaptation, which makes it very attractive in control problems, particularly for dynamic nonlinear systems. So, how do we choose? It depends on our need. And that's basically uh, summarize um, all the videos that we have discussed with regards to physiologic. Thank you.